hello again. This is supposedly mine. Um, I have upgraded the electrodes a bit here so I can get them further apart. Right now it's 2.125 inch gap. Um, and you'll see that it's it hasn't increased the voltage jump that much. So I think I could probably jump the full width or ionize the full width um, at 3000 volts. But as you'll see, it starts to uh, jump to the casing. So I gotta be careful at this point. Um, because the case is not grounded, but it could be potentially through the pump. Um, not a big deal since everything is protected and it's all really low amperage, but we'll see. Five thirty, five forty, five fifty. Oh, and it was like 560 when it jumped that time. You bring it back down. Try this again. Alright, so this was supposed to be um, a five and a half inch gap test. The electrodes are spaced five and a half inches apart, but unfortunately now it's really arcing. You can start to see it there at the bottom, but it just starts arcing up above at that exposed lead. So what you really need to do is remove that wire at this point and just use this electrode like it's designed for. Um, by the way, I replaced the adjustable electrode here because it wouldn't adjust any further back. So. Um, anyway, yep, now I gotta try to get that working. You can see it's like a bright pink actually coming off of that, um, that electrode and it's arcing to the case. So I really don't want to touch the case right now. But you never know, could be okay, could be safe, but everything is grounded. Oh, look at that, look at that. It just went. Amazing. So, at this point, the air must have ionized enough to uh, prefer to jump that gap. But I bet if I drop the voltage down right now, it'll, it'll probably exceed. Uh, or it'll probably jump back to the case like before. All right, so now that I've fixed that extra wire, I just replaced it with a different port. Uh, I only have two electrodes, both of them are insulated from the case. Um, it still wants to arc to the case, but it's way better because there's no exposed insulation or there's no exposed conductor anywhere near the case now, except for right there. So it'll try there and then the, the potential between the two points is so great that it'll preferentially jump between the points instead. So um, I'll, I'll turn on the vacuum here and we'll um, up the voltage again. Um, and definitely I've been seeing an increase in voltage as we increase the gap. So there is a correlation and I'm sure we'll find out what that is. There's our 22 inches of mercury again. Power on. And uh, 
We're going to increase it. So this multimeter only goes up to 750 volts AC. And um, you'll see it's right around 700. Yeah. Let me see if I can catch that. There we go. So like 704 was the last reading it took right before it jumps. And now it's back down to 498. Um, and then as I increase the voltage, it stays relatively constant across that gap again. But it does increase for sure. So 569 at that five and a half inches between the two. And um, there's the pretty glow again. That's just me fiddling with the knob. <laughs>